This video has been brought to you by DataVinci Analytics Agency. Hi there. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Rahul and today we are going to cover understanding Google Ads enhanced conversion. The topics that we are going to cover today are what is enhanced conversion and why are they important? How do enhanced conversion work? How to set up enhanced conversion and how to measure and optimize performance of your enhanced conversion. In easy language, enhanced conversion is a feature that improves the accuracy of your conversion tracking by supplementing existing conversion tags with hashed first party customer data from your website. So this is our Google Tag Manager and this is our ads account. To jump onto this page, you can click on tools and settings and click on conversions. Let's click uh, the new conversion action button. If uh, this is not showing in your case and you are ha already having some existing conversions, you can see a plus button over here under summary. So create a new conversion, choose data from website, paste my domain, enhanced conversion is on. Select category. So I'm doing it for a contact form. That is why I'm choosing a contact. Conversion name is contact form lead. I don't want to use any value for this. And I don't want to count every conversion. I just want to count it for a single user. You can do this if you're uh, doing it for purchase or something like that. Everything looks good. Click on done. Agree and continue. Okay, so we can see multiple options over here to set up enhanced conversion. That is set up via Google Tags, email instructions to your webmaster or using Google Tag Manager. So we'll choose this. Now we will get two details from here. That is conversion ID and this is conversion label. Let's go to our Google Tags and create a new tag. Before this, make sure that you have a conversion linker. I've already added this. This is important. So let's click on new. Go to Google Ads and add a conversion tracking. Let's name this Google Ads. Contact us. We'll get conversion ID from here and conversion label from here. This will connect our Google tag to Google Ads. Now, we don't have any conversion value or transaction ID since we are not using a purchase. But we do you we will do use sorry. But we will use user provided data from our website. So we'll click on here and we'll select a variable. Now let's jump on to the tag manager. Click on preview and go to your website. So this was the form that we are choosing as our landing page if uh, we publish some ads. And we will take values for email and phone number from here. So for this, what we will do is we will right click on the email, click on inspect. So we will be directed to our input tag for email. We will click right click here and copy selector. In this way, we can get the value of email. Let's check document dot query selector paste this value and value. So currently since the email is empty, we are not getting any value. But if I write something out here as like test.rahul at gmail.com and I recheck this, 
so we get this value similarly we'll do this for phone number we'll go to inspect copy this and we'll replace this from contact form let me write some random number here so we get this value now what we will do is we will pick these code and create a variable for this i have already created one for contact form we can create a small function and return this particular value so what i'll do is i'll copy this edit the name that is cgs stand for custom javascript variable phone or phone number for contact us form and replace this click on save now we have contact we have a uh, email and phone number for our contact us form let's check them or let's add a tag we can go to google ads click on google ads conversion tracking we have conversion id and conversion label from our google ads let's copy them Let's name this Google Ads Contact Us. Okay, uh, create a trigger for this. Let's choose a form submission. I've already created one with the desired conditions that is required in your case. Also, we have to pass the email and phone number that we have just grabbed from the website. So we'll click on include user provided data from website. We'll click on this and select a new variable. That is a new user provided variable. So this is a UPD variable, UPT variable for contact us and We'll select email from here that is CJS email and phone number from here CJS phone number click on save you can add other details if you want like first name surname street city region etc but it is not required in my case so I'll use this data only tag looks fine let's save this and test it out let's click on preview click on done here and we can see that the status of the conversion is inactive okay this is our form let's test it out my name is Rahul test dot Rahul at gmail.com the spelling of gmail phone number is something like this come and say testing form okay so let's do this click on send we got a message saying thanks for contacting us we'll get back to you soon i wrote this so here we can see that uh, the form is submitted contact us form And if we check variables, so we can see that we are getting values for contact us form and for the phone number. That, is, that means our tag is running accurately with the variables passing values.
and if we reload this page uh, you see a small notice that the status which was earlier inactive is now no recent conversion that is our tag has actually sent a signal a message over here which is uh, like connected to our google sign in data and if this was an original conversion from the ad this would have shown some data now how to optimize and measure performance of enhanced conversion so let's go to our google ads click on lead form and go to diagnose so here we are seeing waiting to receive enhanced conversion data since the data we just sent from here this was not from actual ad that is why we are not seeing any data over here and it says it could take up to 48 hours after receiving data to start processing it so i have a sample image for this this is currently what we are seeing and if everything goes good so you will start seeing the status ad as recording enhanced conversion with a green tick also we will see a row as impact and what this will do is this will actually show us how this has impacted our existing conversion so this is it for this video guys do let us know if you have any queries or questions you can comment this down give us a like and subscribe thank you may the force be with you